To give you some perspective, let's do some math. The average income for a Ugandan citizen is 300,000 Ugandan shillings a month. That is 3.6 million shillings a year. That's like a huge number, right? No, it's actually like not a lot at all. 3,654 Ugandan shillings is equivalent to about one US dollar. Using this conversion rate, the average Ugandan's monthly income comes out to only about 82 US dollars. And that's only roughly $985 a year. Now say you're from Uganda and your dreams and aspirations is to be a proper filmmaker. You'll need a nice camera, lens, hard drive, laptop, audio equipment, tripod, gimbals, computer, software, all in for decent competitive film equipment. You're looking at about 20,000 US dollars. But that's what I pay here in the US. For someone looking to ship this equipment to Uganda, you're going to have to add on 33% more in charges for importation taxes, duty fees. So if you're a Ugandan filmmaker, you're looking at paying 26,660 US dollars for competitive film equipment, making 985 US dollars a year and spending every single penny of that on film equipment, it would take the average Ugandan citizen 27 years to acquire all of that necessary gear. Now let's be a little more realistic and after assuming paying all the necessary living expenses, this Ugandan is able to save about 20% of their income to put towards their film equipment. Saving 197 US dollars a year, it would take the average Ugandan citizen 135 years to pay for that equipment. A hundred in 35 years. 135 years ago it was three years before the oldest surviving motion picture was recorded. And it looked like this. <laughs> You're worried about shooting 120 frames per second. These, these guys are shooting like three frames per second. And then 135 years into the future, we'll probably like all be dead from climate change. Just kidding, but. Not really. <laughs> is video is one of the world's most effective ways to communicate. Uganda and so many countries like it are left with no voice. So let's begin with our story. For three years ago, when I was filming in Entebbe, Uganda for a job, I happened to stumble across a fellow creative who was similar in age and ironically shared the same name as me. Dan. We love you. I love you too. Give him one, give him one. I've never met a human being so passionate about life and what they're doing and is so important to their community. What struck me most about Dan was how much he was able to create with so little that he had. When I left Uganda, I thought about Dan for almost every single day for three years. For three years, I couldn't help but think, what if? What if Dan was given the same exact resources that I was given my entire life? Like I knew that Dan was special. I knew that given the proper resources, He'd be an incredible filmmaker. So about a month ago, for the first time in three years, I returned back to Entebbe, Uganda to finish up that job from the first time I was there. I knew I had to spend at least one day catching up with Dan, shooting with him, and capturing his overall essence within his community. I went back home, put together a video, and then I asked you all for help. I asked you all to help me give Dan a real chance. And, well, this happened. Decided to start a GoFundMe to help raise money to surprise Dan with all new gear. The first couple of hours, look at this. Look at all these people donating right now. Look at this. Look at this, $1,000 from Matty Opoya. Oh my God. Literally not even one week. Look at this. We already hit the goal. I even increased the goal by $2,000. Look how many people donated. 437 people. That is absolutely insane. Like, I'm so happy that we're gonna give this, this guy a shot. Like, he's special and I'm excited for him to have a chance now. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> you. 
I told you we do it. I told you. It's crazy, man. Like, dude, it's just. Oh my goodness, like this is. Oh my goodness, like this is like it's like I'm dripping. So now I guess the next step is like a little shopping spree for Dan. <laughs> All Dan's packages are starting to come in, and there's so many more than this. This is just what came first. <laughs> today is the day flying to Entebbe, Uganda today. All the COVID testing went well, tested negative. When I get to Entebbe, I'll get tested again. Long flight, long travels, but gonna get all this gear over to Dan. Yeah, I should probably start packing as I haven't packed yet, and my flight's in a few hours, but uh, Definitely can't forget to pack this bad boy. Worst part about leaving is saying goodbye to my girl. <laughs> 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 As soon as we landed in Tebe, my guy Kenny picked us up, took us straight to get our second COVID test, and we hung out in the hotel until those results came back and got all of Dan's gear ready for him. I'm like actually sweating. Like, I'm like kind of nervous, which is bizarre because there's no reason for me to be nervous. It's not like I'm doing anything. Woo! Dude, he said it. It's complete. Yeah. Dan loves what he's doing. We'll be doing this. Now that he has this, you just find him on the road like this. <laughs> Swaying the hips. Yeah, like, it's, it's just how you move. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He that's gets exactly it. what you do, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, man, thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Look what we made happen. We have like all this beautiful gear that's just gonna like, will actually like give this dude a chance, like a real chance, an opportunity to chase his filmmaking career and, and dreams and can't wait like means the world to me that we're, we're gonna be we're all gonna be able to help this guy out so thanks everyone <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, bro. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> You're most... Oh, okay. How are you? I'm good. It's really good to see. It's really good to see. You. It's really good to see. You. you know how we used to just see this from people, new uh -huh. tasks from people, and then they go with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now like this is. No, it's just, I mean, he knows the task. You don't know you got it. Well, this is amazing. This moment right oh here, man, goodness. like, <laughs> I can't even explain it. I mean, we got, I, I, I don't know. know. I, know. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going to keep on doing this. This is the boring stuff. <laughs> I've literally never seen so much pure happiness wow. on human wow. beings' face. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Cancel out the noise, too. Wow. This is amazing. I would hand Dan just like the I'm wires saying. for charging his batteries, and he would give me the biggest giant bear hug. Like I promise you no one in the world deserves this more than Dan and his family. Thank you. This won't be the last time I say this, but again, thank you. Can I open my eyes right now? Oh my god! <laughs> Caged up, K7S3, 2470, F2.8, microphone, like you're all set, dude. It's got like, uh, it's got all the media inside of it. Batteries. 
<laughs> we weren't gonna be able to get this. And uh, I reached out to Sony, and Sony like pushed our order to the front of the line before every single other person in the world who purchased an A7S, and they made sure that we got it in time. <laughs> this is too much. No, 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 no. I'm so happy that like, we were able to like, get, get this out of the world. Like everyone can see everything. Dude, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't take me. Just quarterbacked it. Some of the, some of the people who donated sent messages. So I just want to share some of their messages with you. This is Maggie Poya. He's like one of the most famous. YouTube filmmakers. He donated a thousand dollars. Hopefully, all of this gear is gonna help you out in your journey, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. <laughs> this hey, Dan, I'm really happy for you. I'm glad that we could all come together to help you out in your journey. I'm following you on Instagram, so I hope to see your future work. We're all rooting for you, and best of luck. Hey, Dan, I'm Lucas from Condor Blue, and so happy to help equip you with some uh, quality gear and to see you. Continue to inspire so many gave people us the with your awesome rig. storytelling. Indeed. Tell your mom we're praying for her health and uh, yeah, man, keep going. <laughs> Hi, Dan. I'm Ian with the A Team. I just want to wish you the best of luck with these new lights. And a reminder: it doesn't matter if you have one of the biggest lights or one of the smallest ones. You are part of the Aperture family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alex, Danica. Best of luck with all the gear. We can't wait to see what you make. We've heard you're super talented. I'm Morgan from Sony. Mm -hmm. uh, really excited to be recording this because that means Danny has made his way over to you. Um, just wanted to send you a note to wish you the best of luck with your new gear. And I wanted to welcome you to Team Sony. I'm so thrilled to be able to help with this project and get some, some gear in your hands. And uh, excited to see what you create. So we will be watching from over here. Hey Dan, I'm Danny's girlfriend and I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see what you create with your new gear and good luck. Wow. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> see Sans, Sans in the background? Yeah, I just, I see Sans. Hey Odeke, this is Sandeep here. Uh, best of luck with everything, and hope you enjoy your new gears. I'm looking forward to see what you make in the future. All right, peace. Responsible. <laughs> okay, I want to okay. say we are so stoked to get you some gear. Um, yeah, and just stoked to be a part of this. Just know you have some friends in the United States. And yeah, good luck with everything. Wishing you the best. Hey Dan, this is Charles all the way from the US. Just wanted to wish you the best of luck with all your new gear. Seriously, can't wait to see all the amazing projects that you put out with it. Hope to meet you one day. Bye. <laughs> Dan, congrats on all your new gear. Uh, we are all so inspired by your dedication to your craft, to your commitment to your family, and to sharing all the beautiful stories and faces of Entebbe. I think I speak for everyone when I say we cannot wait to see your filmmaking career shine. Congrats, man. Hey, Dan. Yorka here. I uh, heard about your story from Danny. Best of luck with all the gears. Can't wait to hear more from you. See ya. Hey, this is Dan's brother, Eric. Congrats on all the new gear. Really excited for you. Can't wait to see what you create. Best of luck, man. <laughs> My son. <laughs> My son, thank you. God bless him. This is your home. You will be free to come to visit us. This is home. May God raise you up. Bless you, including your children. Generation to generation. I'm mama. I'm happy. I'm really happy. My son, I'm happy. Thank you. God has done. My son, God has done. Those are the friends. That's your brother. That is your brother in your heart. In my heart. I don't know even what to say. But to say, God, thank you. Let the glory and the honor go back to you. Amen. <laughs> Long journey ahead now. Wow, story to tell. Thank you, man. It's the best thing anybody has ever done to me. Of course, man. Father, I pray that, Lord, Father, as you did it, to make it, oh God, through 
my brothers and sisters outside from America, O oh God, through my son, Dani, O oh God, it is you, O oh Lord, who touch his heart and to touch many to contribute to buy this camera, my Lord. Father, I thank you and I say thank you. The remaining couple of days in Tebe, we explored around just to let Dan test out all of his new gear. <laughs> we literally couldn't make it 10 steps without Dan having to stop to shoot a leaf blowing in the wind, a portrait of a vendor, a cook preparing our food, Carlo and I being welcomed into this community, into this family. It was so truly amazing in every sense of the word. There was a couple of moments where I had to just take a step back and just watch Dan. Like this moment isn't supposed oh to happen. <laughs> this kid who grew up in a small town of Entebbe in the middle of Africa was never supposed to get this stuff. He was never supposed to have this moment. Seeing Dan with the camera in his hands, knowing that we did that, we made that possible together, it made me so proud. This feeling, like, this was the only goal there ever was for this channel. So thank you all for not only believing in me, but for also believing in Dan. No greens. It's, the, the image is still amazing. It's, it's everything I ever wanted? Yeah, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. Yes. It's been an amazing day. Did some good shots and um, still getting a grip of it. And uh, more great shirts are going to be coming out of this. Totally. I love this baby. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. For, like, for me, like, this is more than just like giving you a camera. Like, it's not just like, here's some technology, like throw it in someone's hands, like go shoot some videos. This is giving you the ability to communicate stories, to communicate visions. That's right. And it's, it's giving you a voice. And by giving you a voice, a member of this community, you're so ingrained in this community. Like, this camera is giving this whole community a voice. Your mom said, like, you are the one. Like, yeah. I know, like, you're the person that can put Entebbe on the map. Like, you're the person who, like, can make a YouTube channel and be that representation for all kids in Africa. Millions of, of YouTube members in the filmmaking industry are African. And so many of them follow my channel. And it's, it's hard for them to, like, relate to me like I'm from a different part of the world these kids seeing you on YouTube like doesn't matter how many like even if it's just one kid being able to see you like represent them mm -hmm. you know like dude that's what it's all about that's what this is like, you are the voice of Entebbe because you have this camera and because you are you because you're a beautiful person the sky's the limit for what you're gonna be able to do and I'm, I'm so excited for you you know you know what blesses me the, is the fact that three years ago when I met you I mean we just met yeah. We just moved around the market and just did some shots and yeah. uh, it was good buys. I know that and when you come back, you come back with all this idea and uh, here we are right now. For me that blesses me, that humbles me and uh, big thanks to you. And big thanks to each and every person who contributed. Each and every person. We gotta hug it out. <laughs> Literally, like, I could die today <laughs> and like be happy. You know? yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I can say is, uh, let's make film. Yeah, let's man. That's what it is. Let's make You're stories. just starting, right? It's just <laughs> the beginning. Let's just do it. This bad boy, he's gonna make more stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate it. Real quick, I want to thank Music Bed. Music Bed made this video possible. They helped donate a large sum to the cause, and they also helped to supply Dan with a lifetime supply of music for his videos, which is absolutely incredible. Their music is the best out there for your videos. It's real music from real musicians, and I'm gonna use it to my dying day, so thanks, Music Bed. 